welcome to Silicon Valley Asian Pacific Film Festival. Our goal is to build a platform for filmmakers and storytellers. My name is Steve Yamaguma, if I didn't introduce myself, but my co-chair, Cindy Toy. We are presenting Going Home by Min Chao. <laughs> by Valerie So. You'll have a chance to hear the filmmakers talk about their trials and tribulations of getting these films out. So um, after the screening, stick around and- Ladies in red, what's up? <laughs> so Min, I had a question for you to begin. I heard you brought some special guests you want to introduce to the audience oh, that yeah. were instrumental to this film. Okay, my people, can you please stand up? Margaret <laughs> Johnston awesome. from Nevada. Margaret Lee from Utah. <laughs> Um, as you probably guessed from watching the movie, I went on the love boat <laughs> when I was in college. <laughs> yeah, it, anybody, anybody from Love Boat who went? Raise your hand. Oh, okay. Isn't that the beauty of a film festival? Not only do, do we get to hear the stories of the filmmakers, but your stories. So let's give everybody a round of applause. Thank you. At this point, I want to bring on Assembly Member Kansen Chu. I have a certificate of recognition. I'd like to present it to contemporary Asian theater scene. As you all know, this is Dr. Jerry Hira. Jerry, Steve, and Mickey had the foresight to start contemporary Asian theater scene, Cats, and they've had, we've had many successes, and one of these is the ramification of having this film festival. And five years ago, Jerry backed Duane Kubo with his vision of starting this film festival. Yes! Yes. At that time, at that time, Jerry said he wanted to create an Image Hero Award. Yes. Only, only Jerry would come up with a title like Image Hero Award. But it was, and we did honor artists who were established, who were role models and advocates and inspirational for the rest of us. And of course, the one person who is the biggest art advocate, yes, and the most supportive, is our own Dr. Jerry Hira, and we have the honor of presenting that award to him. He's been an inspiration to everyone. He's also been an artist and a poet, and certainly an advocate for all the arts. So thank you, Jerry, very much. And so 17 years ago, we started CATS. So we want to bring Mickey on. She is still crazy. Okay, yes, right, yes. All right. Now, we could not do this without another woman. And that woman's Lucia Chong. So I want Lucia to come on up tomorrow. She was the driving force behind Cats. We could not have done it without her. Okay. Oh. oh my God. And by the way, they are a couple. So many things yes. that Jerry has done, and um, I just want to. I'm here to present the commendation. I'm going to read some of the things. Uh, um, whereas Jerry here, a poet, writer, art, artist, activist, philanthropist, and dentist, has over the past <laughs> last several decades significantly shaped the cultural and artistic landscape of San Jose. Um, whereas Dr. Hira has enriched the cultural life of the city by serving in pivotal arts leadership positions at the local, regional, and state level. And whereas Dr. Hira co-founded the Contemporary Asian Theater Scene, 
which has presented emerging and award-winning Asian American artists, um, and ha including um, works like today, the Silicon Valley Asian Pacific American Film Festival for over two decades. So uh, I'd like to present this commendation to Jerry. Yes! Uh, So, so this is really a surprise, okay? I just was going to make it in and kind of chill out and see uh, Taiwan Le Beau and see that other very, very good short film, by the way. Um, you know, we live in a very complex uh, world, collectively and as individuals. Uh, I think Mickey and Steve and Karen and, and others have taught me that the uh, way to decipher some of this is by storylines whether it's through dance, music, uh, film, visual arts, um, we have an opportunity to share our stories. And this is really important because this is the mirror by which we reflect who we are. Um, we also can be honest with ourselves in that situation. And we empower the kinds of legacy that we need to preserve uh, through the arts. I want to just say that, you know, for the creative people here who are going to be putting together those, the films and the film festival, we really get an insight into who these people are in terms of their, the, the ramparts they've got to forge, the insecurities they've got to face. I mean, every Asian parent wants their son or daughter to become a professional this, an electrical engineer, a, de a doctor, a dentist. So you got to buck the trend to stay in the arts. And that takes a great deal of courage. And I, I think that when you get to know these very, very creative, uh, brave people, you will understand, you know, um, the, the kinds of things that we need to do to, to make, make sure our legacy is there. So I want to thank everybody, including the audience, uh, the aficionados that are here. I mean, you got you. This is the reason why we're here, basically. You know, our mission is to inspire the next generation, and let's get our stories out there in the public. So true, right? Now, yeah. let's party. Come on down, and we got some treats for you, so queue up and uh, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 